let's zoom in at this very particular question of uh, computation on a, on a processor and communication between processors. So what does this system look like that you're envisioning, uh, one of the places you're envisioning it is in the paper on optoelectronic intelligence. So what are we talking about? Are we talking about something that starts to look a lot like the human brain, or does it still look a lot like a computer? What are the size of this thing? Is it go inside a smartphone? Or as you said, does it go inside something that's more like a house? Like, uh, what should we be imagining? What are you thinking about when you're thinking about these fundamental uh, systems? Let me introduce the word neuromorphic. There's this concept of neuromorphic computing where what that broadly refers to is um, computing based on the information processing principles of the brain. Mm -hmm. And as digital computing seems to be pushing towards some fundamental performance limits, people are considering architectural advances, drawing inspiration from the brain, more distributed parallel network kind of architectures and stuff. And so there's this continuum of, of neuromorphic from things that are pretty similar to digital computers, but maybe there are more cores and the way they send messages is a little bit more like the way brain neurons send spikes. But for the most part, it's still digital electronics. 